Hi, and welcome back to the SolidWorks live stream uh, at the 3D Experience Playground here at 3D Experience World 2020. I'm joined on our, at our studio here with two very special guests, Christine Getman, Executive Director of Magic Wheelchair, and Chin Lu Lama from Dassault Systems. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. We're really excited to have you here. Last night we had the privilege and the really cool honor of doing two reveals for two new costumes for two kiddos. Yes, they were amazing. Yeah, it was really cool to see that. There's a... Uh, there's a lot of things that we do in this business that really like pay out emotionally, and that was definitely one of them for folks like Chin Lu, especially yeah, who yeah. invests so much time into projects like that. We're so grateful for Chin Lu and everyone on the team for just trusting us and continuing to partner with us. It's we're, it's such an honor to be here. Truly, we've met so many builders, and the kiddos last night were just such a treat. Yeah, I mean, you're in such a, a great atmosphere to, t right. to connect with so many different people, whether they're engineers, makers, entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. generally people with a lot of good ideas in their heads. So this is a really good opportunity to network with a lot of those right. folks, I imagine. This is really exciting. It's, it's new to us. I mean, we, we go to Comic Cons and we go to haunted house conventions. And, and this is just such an inspiring world because any issues that we may have had, any questions we may have had on a build, like, how do we do that? The other big question is, how do you make an invisible jet? And this is the place to get those answers. So we're really honored and grateful to be here. Sure. So before we dive in too much further, some folks watching at home might not actually know what Magic Wheelchair is. So can you take a minute and kind of tell the folks watching at home exactly what Magic Wheelchair Absolutely. is? Absolutely. So Magic Wheelchair is a nonprofit organization that builds epic costumes for kids in wheelchairs at no cost to their families. And we do that by actually matching kiddos with builders in their community. And we train the builders from start to finish, support every step of the way, for the build and help throw the, the big reveal party at the end. So we're like virtually mentoring a lot of the time and we're just trying to deliver to as many kids as possible. And when you say costume, we're not talking about what yeah. I wore when I no. went out on, say, Halloween when I was young. These are truly epic experiences yeah. that they're yeah. participating in. I mean, I can speak from experience that when you put on a wearable costume and you sit down in your wheelchair, you feel like it swallows you up a little bit. So what we're building is these vehicles, spaceships, princess carriages to help them really further extend who they want to be. If they're a superhero, a pirate, um, truly anything. It's just to show the world who they are, what their personality is. It's amazing. So that's something that's really interesting about this. When you find a, a kiddo mm -hmm. and you look at doing a build for them, this is more than just something they're interested in. You're trying to pull out their personality and who they are with this, correct? Right. We try to really focus on what they like and not just the first thing that comes to mind. Show them more photos, you know, really make sure even if it is a Batmobile, we include more features that are special to them. You know, if it's a certain year, make a model, I mean, all of it. It's just we want it to be as much of their personality and, and their idea as possible so they feel empowered and, and heard and seen for the right reasons. Okay. Yeah, for I wanted to add something for yeah. our builds. We we actually took upon that kind of inspiration and for the Max D build where you see those giant tires instead of the brand name of the tire, we actually had the initials of the chat of Jonah on yeah. it. So it was really his. And then for Ben for to kind of tie him back to his family and kind of this love that they're with motorcycle which is shared not just by him but his uncle his parents and and it was indian motorcycle that was driving them so even though yeah. the, t the bike didn't look like one the logo that was there was inspired by the indian motorcycle logo and it had his name benjamin on it so there's a lot of kind of personality tied to family tied to stories yeah. that kind of pull it all together so it's it's awesome so you guys you guys find the kiddo and they, you understand they apply they apply on our website okay. and then we match them with a maker near them okay so let's talk about the people behind this then yes. so we've we've talked we've seen ex really cool examples here and i'm going to come back to that because i want to know what some of your favorites <laughs> sure. are 
But I think the thing that sometimes gets overlooked a little bit are all the people behind the scenes mm-hmm. who make this happen. Tell us a little bit about, like, who are these people? Right. We have makers of every level, from home builders, prop makers, haunted house attraction builders, um, students, classrooms, colleges, maker spaces. You nurses. name it. Nurse, yeah. Doctors. Yeah, doctors, <laughs> nurses, um, dentists, actually. Oh, yeah. They're really great at sculpting. <laughs> <laughs> you know, middle known yeah. fact. Um, it's incredible. And Software it's, developers? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it, it goes, it's so much more than just the lead builder and the kiddo. There's a whole community behind them supporting every step of the way from gathering materials, marketing the reveal, making sure the wearable fits. It's it's a whole collective effort of love just surrounded by the, the child. And, and this weekend, yes. I mean, it was, they lost sleep. They're incredible. Do you want yeah, to tell everyone yeah, about that? On. So, so um, 11th hour, I mean, we, first of all, the builders themselves, you have folks who are they have a nine to five full time job. Sure. And um, now they have to tell their bosses, um, we're gonna take some time, we're gonna do this. <laughs> you know, so especially um, Luke Daly, the the lead builder for that beautiful um, Star Wars. Yeah, the R J the R three J swoop. Yes, it's like <laughs> this Mandalorian inspired vehicle. Um, and he he works for Siemens and it was really like we, we have to thank them immensely to allow him to do something like this to the scale, to the quality. Um, just to you know, give him that time to do it. And for all the folks, I mean, 11th hour, we come here, he's looking at the packages. It's been shipped from Calgary, from Bowhead, and there's just that one package that was missing. Of course, it's like the critical front end, the first thing you see kind of thing, and we can't move on without getting those pieces. And then so within the community, quick calls, um, a lot of emails, text us back and forth, and then we get... Um, uh, uh, Zometry from DC, mm-hmm. and they they're prom- one of our partners. Here. Exactly, yeah. and they just print, printed out. Um, I have specs somewhere, but didn't get a chance to read them. But basically, <laughs> they had multiple pieces of these things printed, all of them about five, six hours, and they got all of them in. Oh no, five different printers got them all printed and shipped overnight, so that we had it in time on the same day, colored it installed it. Um, it was just amazing. And then the f- mobile fab lab right next to to the booth that we have, mm-hmm. they were like, whatever tools you want, your house is, or our house is your house, come over, use whatever you need, make your pieces, and then, you know, it's just that kind of... What a cool community. Right, everyone's just there to pitch together. in. It really is right. the magic behind Magic yeah. Wheelchair. It was exactly. midnight. I forwarded files to a bunch of people, and <laughs> so Zometry joined us. We um, should give Zometry a nice plug here. Oh, They're yeah, here absolutely. at 3D Experience yep. World. Go Thank visit you at their booth, yep. check them out. If people don't know, they're made to order parts. Yep. They're quick turnaround parts. That's right. what they're really excel at. And obviously, they've High proved their quality, worth. High <laughs> quality, yeah. And I the, to, yeah, shout the out local, to local Greg. Local makers as well. Local Helped makers. Helped us out. Nick Nashville and Chat Lab in, in Chattanooga, Tennessee. I mean, really, if you ever have a problem, find your local maker space. Yes. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah, and no cost to any, like those costumes are no cost to family, right. so they were doing this all out of the kindness of their t- heart and their, their hardware. Yeah. The other thing I wanted to add, and we never get a chance to say this, and people when they come to volunteer get a little bit intimidated because they're thinking, well, I'm not really a maker or builder and um, this looks fabulous, but I just can't do that. But the, peop- the key people in the background, as we know, are the folks that blog about it, help document the build, mm-hmm. share. Like, if you're good with social media, that's a great teammate to have. And then also just if you're, if you're a makerspace or a house that can pump out CNC pieces or 3D prints, you don't necessarily have to be part of the build to, like, sand everything. There's but lots of different ways to get involved. So many roles. Absolutely. Yeah, it's sure. Yeah. Promotion's like probably effort. one of the big things. In fact... You know, where can people go and learn about more about Magic Wheelchair? Yeah. So magicwheelchair.org is our website. You can okay. go there to volunteer and submit an application. Let us know what you do feel strong about. Um, you can donate, which we greatly appreciate. We fund materials for builds. Um, and then you can also nominate a child. Let us know a little bit about that. Them, or you can apply for your own child, and we just, we'd just love to learn more about them. Yeah. We have a store, we have galleries, and we're also pretty wild awesome on social media, on there, yeah. so definitely follow us if you want to see up-to-date builds and progress pictures. It's really fun to watch 
these projects unfold. Yeah, you mentioned something earlier on today, and I think it, you know, I want people to know if you want to get involved, one of the, one of the other things is not only don't, do you not have to have every skill set required, right. you guys actually help the build teams yes. finance some of this. Yeah. You don't, you're not going into this completely oh alone. Your no. organization is actually there to help these build teams be successful, right. correct? That's, that's what we do. So we, we match the kiddo with the builder build team and we walk through every step of the way from the first meeting, getting the wheelchair measurements, you know, finding your exact materials list. We check in weekly to make sure everything is going as planned, we fund the materials, and we help plan the party at the end. So it could be going to Comic Con, it could be hosting something local at the firehouse, at their school. I mean, truly, what I love about it is all the unknowns yeah. because the kids are the bosses, and that makes it exciting <laughs> yes. for us. I love it. The first time I heard the story about this, I, I th it was, I think it was. Sal, who actually yeah. told me, you guys went to uh, Monster Jam, yes. and I was like, what do you mean you're going yeah. to Monster Jam? <laughs> We're revealing our own monster truck through Magic Wheelchair, yeah. and I was like, what a cool opportunity. Well, and you didn't just reveal it at Monster Jam. <laughs> we you revealed it next to the real live Max D. Yeah. So, yeah, we had look, the yeah, it's on the screen now. Yeah, yeah oh, there it is, goodness. right there. We had the driver come over, autograph the costume. They were buddies afterwards. Mm -hmm. It's so much more than just a costume. costume. It's yes. it's an experience, and for every family, it's it's different. For some kiddos, it's a chance to help them express themselves more. For other families, it's a chance to make memories when time is short. So. Yep. So we revealed two of these. We showed them on live stream last night. Mm -hmm. So anybody watching at home, you can go back on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram, and you can watch those videos. We revealed two yesterday evening. Be our guest, which was focused around Beauty and the Beast, and then we just mentioned a very Mandalorian-themed uh, R3J mm -hmm. swoop. Tell us really quick about the people behind these who built these. So yeah. these are the peop these are some of the like the champions behind these projects, and we had some yes. unique people helping us in these cases, right? True. Yeah. So um, for the Mandalorian build, I mean, actually, just just the group in itself, they're just a collection of fabulous art artists and makers and huge Star Wars fans, yes. and they <laughs> help design props for. Um, huge production houses so in fact a few of them work with Disney on some things and um, so they definitely have a resume that you would gawk at anyway <laughs> but um, to have them come together this way and take it almost as if it's a brand new thing it, you would yeah. think someone with folks like them who've made a few builds so one team Matt Long's team and Jessica they've actually done um, a build before in fact they built the destroyer the Star Wars destroyer droid um, it was gorgeous so I'm thinking these are pros they got this but they approached the whole thing almost like this is a brand new thing we want to make it special we're relearning how to do certain things and it's just very inspiring to see that if they're constantly growing as they're helping each other. We're, we're trading secrets about how to airbrush and we're <laughs> teasing each other like what paint is the best one and like trading shopping lists. So there's this constant rejuvenating knowledge base and also I mean I, we didn't talk about this, but th these two teams, when they were building these two costumes, they were asked to use the 3D Experience platform. I was going to say, are we, mm -hmm. do we have a community set up for yeah. these builders so to collaborate maker, on the 3D yeah. Experience platform? So as part of the sponsorship from um, 3D Experience Lab, we, we have this um, accelerator project for all of the makers. And so anyone who signs up to be um, a maker, they have access to the 3D Experience platform, the tools on it, um, the CAD tools like X-Design, X-Shape, and SolidWorks. Um, um, all of that for them. So these folks... Project planning. Project planning, right? <laughs> it was great for us, by the way, project planning. Um, and it got them to... We, we definitely use SWIM the most to collaborate, yeah. share models, and look yeah. at... And there's a lot of, like, you know, friendly competition. We were hiding... We had secret communities where they're talking about the build but not sharing with the other one. But yeah. then we'll joke and put teaser images in to see, like, one is better than the other. But it's a very nice kind of way to separate what's private, what works, how to track, and it was just... Gave you full control over how the different groups, when you, when you wanted to collaborate with a different right. team, you could. When you right. had to work in your own silos, you could mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. And you can call out a specific person because you need them to talk to you. And it was really a good way to kind of 
um, for us to see how the platform works with this team, but also it's almost like a mutual t teaching. So as we learn about how they would use the platform, um, we would also you know, teach them how to get get where they need to, but it was a very nice, like, synergistic experience mm -hmm. using it. It was and great. Even for the Magic Realtor staff, yeah. it was great for us to witness these builds unfolding in an area that was new to us. So just seeing how that can work, it, it gets our wheels turning with more right. ways to serve builders and more ways to improve the way we distribute materials and support. So it, it was just a really beautiful experience to witness. Yeah. yeah, the 3D experience platform is so much more than just 3D CAD tools or a community or a pro it's all these things and how they work right. together in one cohesive place. Right. Christine and Chin Lu, I want to thank you guys so much for being here today. You. you know, I stopped by their booth, stopped by, get a sticker. Yes, please. I have one here. I don't know if they see that on camera. <laughs> I have my uh, yeah. and device. Then there's also a magic witcher ribbon. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Get some badges. And if you're watching at home, make sure to go to magicwheelchair.org and figure out how, find out how you can get involved in your area. I want to thank you guys for joining us. And stay tuned. We're going to uh, probably go off air just for a few minutes, and we'll be right back on.